Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll continue our series of educational videos on SQL scripting for beginners. Our previous videos showed you how to use inner join, left join, and right join clauses. You can find a link to the educational playlist in the description and the pop up notification on the right hand side of the screen. Today, we want to tell you about self join and when this clause can be useful. Imagine that you have a table with a list of the company's employees, and some of these employees report to each other. Your goal is to get each employee's name and the name of their respective manager. How can you do this? Here, the self-join clause comes in handy. Generally speaking, a self-join is a regular join, but the table is joined with itself. The structure is pretty simple. Select column underscore names from Table T1. Join Table T2 on T1.Column equals T2.Column. Here, Table is the name of the table that self join is used to join to itself. T1 and T2 are table aliases used to represent rows being compared. To use a self join, the table must include one column that operates as the primary key and another column that holds data that can be matched up with the values in the first column. Even though the idea sounds simple, the ways in which this clause can be applied may not be obvious. So let's look at a specific example. We assume that you've already installed the dBeaver community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's open the employee database table and take a look at the data. As you can see, this table contains a row called Reports To that represents the relationship between each employee and their manager. Using the self join clause, we can get each employee's name and the name of their respective manager. Let's execute the following query Select emp.lastname, emp.firstname, mng.lastname mng.firstname, from, employee, emp, join, employee, mng, on, emp.reports to, equals, mng.employee id. Please note that to perform a self-join, you always need to use different aliases for different table references. Otherwise, SQL will not know how to distinguish the two instances of the table. To learn more about aliases, you can watch our video dedicated to this topic by following the link in the description below. The result set we just got consists of the names of all the employees and the names of their managers. If we want to add more data to the resulting table, we can add the columns we want to the SELECT statement. Let's additionally show their email addresses and phone numbers by executing the following query. SELECT EMP.LASTNAME emp.firstname, emp.phone, emp.email, mng.lastname, mng.firstname, from, employee, emp, join, employee, mng, on, emp.reports to, equals, mng.employeeid. After running the query, we can see more information about each employee in the result set. Great job! You've learned how to use the self-join clause and can use it in your projects. In our upcoming video in this series, we're going to show you how to work with full join. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.